And Ben, are clients always clear about why they're putting their accounts up for pitch? No, they're not. And there is, I mean, there is some confusion and mis mistrust over this. I think some of it is understandable. You see a lot of agency pitch lists constructed with incumbents still on the list. So you know, the agency they've been working with for the last two, three years is there. So it's very difficult for them to come out and say, actually, we don't believe in these guys. Um, so you know, th th there is a problem in that. Um, and, and the intermediaries themselves would say that quite often a client will say to them, uh, we had performance issues. Now, performance can be code for we couldn't agree the fees. So, so quite often you're going to have to hear what a client has got to say and then decode what is actually meant by that. By that. The only way I think you can do that is to, by getting to the senior decision makers pre-pitch. Now, those are people who are often hidden from agencies and you have to work quite hard to get to them. You tend to only see them on the final day when you walk into the pitch room. But the onus is on the agencies to get to the senior people and to find out and have a very, this is a very frank conversation with them, which is, why are we here? Uh, you know, right the way back from, what, what did we do to impress you to get here? And, and why is this business now up for pitch at this particular time? Um, one of the issues I understand that many agencies feel strongly about is pitch fees. Should clients pay towards the agency's pitch costs or not? Well, this is quite a sensitive issue for many of the agencies, and uh, many agencies think that the clients actually should pay pitch fees. Um, clients' point of view varies on this. Um, many clients feel that they shouldn't pay pitch fees because why should they? Uh, this is the, the cost of the agency's ticket to uh, actually potentially get the client's business. Uh, and most clients aren't paid pitch fees when they themselves do pitches to their clients. So they don't quite see it from the same point of view as the agency. Can we just put this into context, though? Um, only 10% of clients say they've ever paid a pitch fee. Those pitch fees are usually between one and £5,000. Occasionally, a client's paid more than that, but what they're buying is a sort of almost like a, a project. They might be buying a, an original piece of work or something like that. So most of the time, we're looking about fairly small sums of money. Most agencies, interestingly, never even ask for a pitch fee. It's just not, not part of their thinking. Um, and this includes some of the largest agencies. So the reason for that varies. Mainly it's because they don't want to put themselves at a commercial disadvantage. Uh, but also it just never occurs to them to ask the question in the first place. Um, and there's no point in them asking the question without defining what value they would add to the client. You know, what's in it for the client? The clients that do pay pitch fees do so really as a token gesture. They're very conscious that a large pitch can cost a six-figure sum, so £5,000 or whatever is not, it's not a significant amount of money. But it, it is a token gesture. It does show that the client is making some sort of contribution. And I think the, the critical thing for both parties to consider within all of this isn't actually the pitch fees. It's more copyright protection of the ideas. And if the client has paid a pitch fee, what is the client's expectation in terms of have they bought part of a copyright or usage fee for the agency from the agency to use that work in, in various areas? So the agency needs to be very careful about protecting their interests. Um, and the client needs to be careful also about what are they agreeing with the agency? Is it in their interests, etc.? So it's all about being fair. But I think this is kind of slightly oversensitive issue. And uh, it's more important for the agency to concentrate on, on winning the pitch.